Dan, I want to talk about Nebraska now. Sure. Um, new coach, Matt Rule. We can dig this thing a thousand times over if we want. I won't, I promise. Mm-hmm. We're up to 20 now. Um, yeah, talk me through Nebraska. What What is your... What is your thinking on the Huskers? Um, so so offensive line, thin defensive line. We can just it's a continuity thing with the the Maryland preview, a continuation. Now look, um, Nebraska. The the fascinating thing with Nebraska is you just want to see the bones, you just want to see the skeleton, you just want to see the foundation, right? That you just want to see what Nebraska could look like at times with the right guys. And I think they're recruiting on a pretty high level right now. I think they have a top twenty class in 2024 and if you look at like the states they're recruiting from it's like texas florida hawaii california florida like they're all over the place they're they're selling matt rule is selling that nebraska brand but we're also talking about a team that is going to start a up and down georgia tech transfer at quarterback and jeff sims casey thompson transfers to florida atlantic anthony grant promising at running back i don't think they've got a ton of talent at receiver you know eric gilbert comes over tight end is in a pretty good spot the defense, I mean, it's an experienced secondary, but there's not much up front. Now, it's a Matt Rule team, so I think they're going to overperform at least my evaluation, my silly evaluation. I still think it's a, a talent deficiency up front. It's going to take a minute. And so can a healthy Jeff Sims, who is good, a good version of himself and limiting interceptions, if he stays healthy all year and spreads the ball around well, I just... I don't know. The Marcus Satterfield hire is fine. There was a lot of like old school talk. I saw Bill Connolly was writing about this where it's just like, (laughs) we're going to huddle. We're going to run this. We're going to, I was like, okay. If you a lot of football guy talk, you do it right. right, Great. But that was a little bit alarming to me. Um, (laughs) I think Matt, look, it's year two, year three for Matt rule. That's that's all that kind of matters at this point. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we know this about him, yeah. right? I mean, he's very good at building programs, and it isn't until year three that you see that lift in most cases. Right. Do you believe that that version of Jeff Sims exists, by the way? The good version of I've Jeff Sims? I've seen good Jeff Sims, yeah. I think yeah. it exists, but behind this offensive line, throwing to these receivers... I The good version of Jeff Sims is a lot like UFOs, okay. in that there's no real good picture of them that the public has seen. Right. They're always very fuzzy and circumstantial and theoretical and you have varying eyewitness accounts. You know what I think? I think Jeff Sims would be a really good candidate to say, who's this year's Max Duggan? Not because I believe it, but just because I think everybody believes in the better version of himself and the, the upside there. And that maybe it's a situation, maybe it's a coach, maybe it's a place, whatever. Obviously Max Duggan stays in Fort Worth uh, during the duration of his, uh, his college career. But I think Jeff Sims would be a good value if you were to wager on whose name would be dropped in that conversation. I just, obviously, the situation's completely different. Yeah, Nebraska, it's just bones. That's the fascinating thing to me. So you are quoting the wise prophet Marin Morris and saying, the house don't fall if the bones are good, yes? I'll take your word for it. I um, <laughs> I don't celebrate her catalog in the way that you do, obviously. I know sure. she's saying the middle, right? Nobody's perfect, it's fine. So... Yeah, that's that's my Nebraska fascination is just seeing the, you know, the magnitude of or not magnitude, really, but like the degree to which they play hard. And well, they they're on the road at Minnesota and Colorado, I believe, to begin Michigan and Illinois back to back. That's a that's a tough one two defense, Illinois and Champaign. They finish in uh, in or at Camp Randall uh, in Madison. And then the Heroes game is in Lincoln. So it's a rocky road. But uh, curious to see who the the emerging dudes are. There's a lot of Georgia. There's a lot of Florida. You know, Utah, yeah, Baylor. Yeah. You know, transfers in from major programs to fill out this roster. But I think it's going to take a few games. Do you do you follow Matt Rule on social media? More active than I would have. Very emoji yeah, for right, right. Yeah. What's with that? I that was going to be my question. Really into the emojipedia stuff. Whatever he wants, man. <laughs> Whatever he wants. Um, Just buying his time until that Penn State job opens. I'm telling you, you're still on that train. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, 100. All right. 